Well, Indiana is one step closer to adopting a hate crimes law. News 18's Kayla Sullivan reports the bill passed through the Senate and is headed to the House. She joins us now with local response. Kayla. Yes, Indiana is one of five states without a hate crime law, and local NAACP President Sadie Harper Scott says it's time to change that. Do you feel like hate crimes happen here in Tippecanoe County? I do, yes. We have them. And not very many, but, you know, we do have them, yes. Tippecanoe County Prosecutor Patrick Harrington says when his office finds evidence of a hate crime, it's tough to put it into an aggravating factor category. Well, sometimes it doesn't really fit into there, but we would try. But the bill that just passed through the Senate puts hate crimes into a category of their own. It would allow prosecutors to consider a victim's race, religion, color, sex, or sexual orientation into the sentencing for a crime. I probably have talked to 15 or 20 prosecutors and not, there's not one that's against this. Legislators who are against the bill say it's unnecessary because federal government already protects people from hate crimes. The feds are taking care of the entire United States of America. Uh, so it's nice to have state laws address state issues so we can address them at the local level. Some other opposers believe a crime is a crime no matter their intent. But Harper Scott doesn't agree if that crime was committed because of someone's race. We all should be treated fairly and equally. And that is not happening in Indiana. That is not happening across the board. And I think if we are challenging our representatives and we elect our representatives, they all should be serving us as a people for the same purpose. Local state representatives Sheila Klinker and Randy Truitt are both supporting the bill moving forward in the House. Kayla Sullivan, News 18.